I mean, it, it all depends on, you know, steps forward and not regressions, health. There's a lot that there are a lot of question marks, but not as many. And most of them have to do with how fast we're going to get Indy Rodriguez up. You know, how are these guys going to develop? I'm really excited from everything I've heard about Nick Gonzalez, where he's at and where he could potentially be uh, sometime this season and how good that triple A team's going to be. I mean, we're going to have the best triple A team in all of baseball. And in 2017, I got to play for the best triple A team and the best organization at the time in the minor leagues with Tampa Bay. And that team went on and they've literally been in the playoffs year after year after year. Some of the guys got traded like Willie Adamas doing great things. And that's the reality I see. I, I see that Tampa, you know, building blocks with something a little bit different that I can't necessarily put my hands on. I'm excited to talk to the front office about in, in how they're trying to maybe slow play this, or are they going to try to, you know, put their foot on the gas as soon as they see that open window. And that's all I'm looking for. I really want them, if they see an opportunity as early as mid-April mid or uh, middle of May, take off. Don't hold guys back. Super 2 doesn't exist. Just go. That would be unbelievable for the city and unbelievable for those young guys because that's how you get those guys to believe in what they're creating. Oh, no. Uh, well, no, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, to yeah, finish what I was guys. saying, I, I felt like I was like kind of getting stoic about my belief in Pittsburgh, and it probably got cut off. I really hope they fast play this if they see that light. With all these guys that are really, really close to the big leagues, you know, they're putting good staff together. I hope the analytical department and people don't get in the way and they just trust their instinct and gut what they're seeing on the field because I truly believe there's a lot of guys, when you look at Underwood – went and pitched in Puerto Rico. You have guys playing kind of all over the country and in, in other uh, other countries trying to get better. A lot of them were told not to, but they want to take a step forward. And if you, if you push that gas real fast at the right time, you'll see a culture shift and it'll hold on because it'll say, man, these guys believe in us. Let's go. Fort, you think I know how you really step on that gas? You don't hold those guys down at all. Exactly. Bring them up opening day. Don't I, even wait till mid April and see where we're at. Just go. I completely agree. If any Rodriguez comes in and absolutely annihilates the baseball, him and Hedges start the year. Period. I mean, I can understand some some guys didn't get enough at bats, but this guy is one of the best prospects in all baseball. And I have any Haynes saying, you know, when you look back at superstars and the numbers that they put up in triple A. And in, in, in double A, a lot of times they put up so ridiculous numbers. And I went back and was like, okay, I'm going to look at this. Andy Rodriguez is a catcher that it was hitting like Bryce Harper in the minor leagues. Buster Posey. I mean, we're talking about huge numbers. So I, I just hope they give him an opportunity, let him do his thing. He's still hitting in, in, in the winter league because he's a special cat. And supposedly he can really catch too. I've seen him play more other positions, but just kind of look at what's around. And it could be very special, very fast, but they need to definitely get out the checkbook and start locking these guys up early. So what do you think? I know you talk about Charrington, right? Since it's go time, it's go time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you were to put any odds or anything. Like, I mean, we all here think day one Indy should. I think the biggest thing we talk about is have faith in your guy, especially with the new rules and such that they can get paid. There's some incentive, right? And as a team, there's some incentive. If he gets rookie of the year or top voting, you get a draft pick. So like I, like I think all of us have agreed, we kind of feel like put him in there, show some faith in your rookie. The worst comes the worst, and he's not producing. Well, then you can just demote him and save your super two, right? But like, what do you think the odds are maybe that ND could start day one? I mean, that it's going to speak volumes. If he has a big spring and he's not up, it, it's it's just showing of what they're trying to do because he has nothing to prove. Double A is a much harder league to hit in than AAA, period. So, and the difference in today's game than just two or three years ago is, and where I I wish we had this when I was playing, the analytics and the scouting reports are the exact same in AA and AAA as they are in the big leagues now. So guys aren't getting overwhelmed with that. So this guy played first base, he played outfield, he played second base, he did everything possible, and he caught at an elite level, and he was the best hitter – at every level he played at. So the reality of it is it's going to speak volumes. And I say that to everyone that's listening and you guys, if he's not in the big leagues day one, 
and he has a good spring and he doesn't look overmatched, there should be a lot of questions. I mean, a ton of questions. Is he a bad clubhouse guy? What's going on? There's got to be something else or it's just, hey, we don't think we're ready. And if that's the reality, when are you ready, right? Because baseball's played 162 times in a year for a reason. And every single year, there's a Cinderella, there's a Goliath that falls, there's a David with a, a slingshot. So why not? You have to believe it could happen. And these young guys don't know any better. Just let them go. 